Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a letter or a sprite bounce around on your stage. So to do that right now, I'm in the code for the letter J, and when I click on it, it's gonna make a sound, it's gonna change the color and change the fisheye, and it's gonna do all of that really fast. Now, I wanna make it so that my sprite can move whenever I click, but I want it to move forever. So I'm gonna put the move block inside of this forever loop. So when I click on it, now it moves forever and then it gets stuck on the edge. It's just like forever running into wall. It's just going like this over and over and over. That, that, that's not fun. Um, so what I wanna do to fix that is I can go into motion and say, if on the edge, which it is right now, bounce. So as soon as I put that inside of here and let go, now it's gonna bounce back and forth forever. So another thing that we can actually do, let me go ahead and stop this, is instead of moving around like this forever, is we could tell it to glide to a random position forever. I press the letter J. And now it's going to glide forever to random positions, which, okay, that's pretty cool. However, I want to make it so that when I stop and then press the green flag again to start, it actually goes back to the beginning. So to do that, let me unhook this real quick. I'm going to drag this over here back to its starting position. And did you notice that these numbers changed when I did that? See how it's changing stuff? That's because that's the position of where it's at. X over here going left and right, Y up and down. So what we can do is say, go to its current location when you press the green flag, but when I click on it, do what it was doing before. So I click on it, cool. So now it's away from its starting position. And as soon as I press the green flag, now it resets back to where it was at. So if you're gonna make it spin around or make it bounce around rather, uh, make sure whenever you uh, do this to have it go back to its starting position and you might need to also make it point in the correct direction. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.